hello or hello it's me i've been wondering about Adele okay <laughs> anyways uh, that was a bit of a chaotic start to the, the beginning of the reading I don't really know where that was going but as soon as I thought of hello I just thought of Adele's song anyways okay so um, we are going to do a reading see what's coming through what messages information clarity I can give to you this is for all star signs if you're here welcome I feel like it's a sign in itself I do so we're going to see what's happening also just before I get started I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me and check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month and everything is listed down below there's also private services with me which you can find listed down below and also on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com personal tarot readings rituals to manifest different areas of your life black magic energy removal uh well, healing work prayers there's also the intention items which are handmade meditated with and sage which thousands of people have seen results with um the review section for that is at the bottom of my website there's you know bracelets anklets necklaces pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow your wallet or your purse candles sage bundles teas etc cool so let's begin and see what's coming through for your reading Um, I thought we would clarify each and every one of these cards with a tarot card. So let's do that and see which which direction we are going in. I'm going to use these ones actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> King of Cups just fell directly onto the table. We'll take that one. Oh, and the Emperor. Very powerful actually. You know, both of them are sitting on a throne here. Here and here. One's fire, one's water fire and water is really that balance balance point got the five of pentacles ooh ooh okay so there's a separation energy five of pentacles is about being left out in the cold being left being abandoned blocked ghosted or just you know separation like um i i think we should see others i'm i'm not interested i you know, things across uh, across that sort of spectrum of things where the two of you go separate ways. And I just feel in so many ways that you've always felt like, you know what, but there's something there. There's something there. Can't quite put my finger on it. There's something there. You feel this connection to them, which is not just physical, but it's also emotional. And you have felt so connected to them on, on so many levels. And there's just this sense here of a lot of you wondering, you know, am I going to get that second chance to to say what I really needed to say? Am I going to get that chance to, you know, be with them again? Am I going to get a chance to make things work with them? Am I going to get a chance to reconcile or to even live my life with them? The way that I had planned, the way that I had thought would happen in my head. So we'll have a look into all of that what's really interesting is that the king of cups here shows that this person hasn't stopped thinking about you you're clearly in their um line of thought you're clearly not out of sight or out of mind the emperor here shows that they've been extremely extremely focused on work related events and also in regards to some emotional issues here and there which have been quite overwhelming for them and it's been a huge huge um what's the word a huge kind of um a burden kind of on their you know on, on their soul where they've had to figure out all of these things and get things together and you know show that oh you know this is this and this is this and this is this they've just felt like oh my gosh this is a lot for me to deal with you know so I just feel here in so many ways I was going to actually get tarot cards to clarify the cards but I guess that quite <laughs> clearly didn't happen but I'll, I'll, I'll get there okay yeah, so you were left out in the cold and you know, King of Cups is really interesting because it shows here a bit more maturity coming from their side. So you will get that second chance, but it really comes after they are much more balanced in regards to issues that they've been dealing with. Because when they are dealing with those, you know, particular things, they feel more balanced, that's when they can be much more balanced towards you. So what they often say about someone is that how can you give love if you don't have that love within you? How can you be committed when you can't commit to yourself? 
So the good news here is that they will be more balanced within themselves, which allows them to be more balanced towards you. They will be more committed and more understanding of what they want, which means they will understand what they want with you. So it will happen. The second chance will happen, but it will take time. And should you be waiting during that time? No. No, you shouldn't. You should be living your best life. You should be taking care of yourself, putting yourself first, holding on to your power, and they will come to you. And if by then you choose to move forward with your life with someone else, so be it. So be it. Your destiny and your fate from what I'm seeing here is not lackluster in regards to love. Because if this person, which by the way, I do see that they'll eventually come back around, okay, but they don't come to you when you're waiting for them because that causes delays with the law of attraction. Remember, the law of attraction works when you are detached. The more attached you are, the more there is a sticky energy where you're constantly feeding them energy. But when you are diverting that energy back to yourself, your goals, your dreams, it actually triggers them because they've got less of your energy now. And then they start to feel like they're missing something. Okay, and then that can also trigger them to work on themselves, etc. So you must re you know, really put that energy towards yourself and that's the thing is you need 100%, not just like 2% of something, you know? So let's go with these and then I'll clarify these cards with, with tarot cards. Like I said I would and then I didn't do, but it's okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. So you will get another chance, okay? And if you choose to move forward, someone else will come through. That's another thing that I'm saying, okay? Someone else will come through. You're not just destined to have love with one person. You can actually have, and I do see many of you have multiple options in terms of a life partner. However, if you specifically want this person, then yes, detaching, healing, focusing on yourself and putting them on the back burner whilst they get themselves together is the best thing to do, but obviously don't wait. Continue to stay focused on your life. Now, Love yourself first is literally the embodiment of what I just mentioned. It is literally the card that represents that, okay? It literally is the one. Okay, so it says here your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. Remember what I said, the more detached you are, the more they can feel the energies spiritually, which makes them feel triggered to then come towards you. Okay, and that can really make them feel like, oh my gosh, I need to go towards you. Like there's something, there's something, there's something that's them come to you. Will you get a second chance? Yes. Okay, it says here, this is the romance of a lifetime. So yes, it can. Okay, it can progress. However, they need to get themselves together first. And they also need to love themselves first as well. Okay, because sometimes I feel that they've been, you know, hiding their emotions, not feeling great. They've had some trauma. You know, the emperor to the king of cups is them really maturing and being a lot more understanding of their own personal struggles, vulnerability, emotional um, health, and just the things that they've not felt good about. So this is them, you know, really understanding those particular aspects. Got heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, which is important. Why is this important? Because it just is. <laughs> Wow, you know, your tarot reader is on fire today when she just explains something like that. It just is. It just is. Okay, goodbye, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so heart to heart conversations. You will talk about things, okay? In time, they will come to you. They will say, you know what? I was feeling, you know, very overwhelmed, very stressed out. I had this going on, this going on, this going on. I needed time and space for myself. Now I'm ready. Now I want to move things along. I can understand if you're not in that place anymore, but I would like to try. So they will come to you, okay? They'll honestly discuss what's been going on, why they were like that, what's changed, what hasn't. They will address the elephant in the room, which I think is very important for you to kind of have that clarity, and that makes a huge, huge difference. Sorry, this is my, my cup. <laughs> so I think that that can then translate into this person moving forward with you because I do see this person as your soulmate, okay? But remember, you do have other options as well, you know? There are other soul connections as well in this lifetime that you can experience. So always just know that this is not like the be or end all of love, but that there is a second chance here, there is one, but this is the circumstance surrounding it in regards to how you would get it, what's got to happen, what you've got to do on your side, which isn't a lot actually, it's just you literally taking care of yourself and putting yourself first, that's that's literally all you have to do, which is actually a very like normal human thing to do, 
Um, so we've got the Three of Pentacles as them wanting to work on things with you, wanting to admire you, wanting to be there for you, wanting to make things work with you. Queen of Wands here is about you, okay? So this is your hobbies, your goals, your personality, taking care of yourself, your well-being. This is absolutely crucial with the love yourself energy, okay? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Let's see if we can sum up that card. We've got the tower, okay, so they will break their cycle, their negative cycle that they keep going round in. Got double Mars energy, okay, so the Emperor is them also having been very detached in the past, like, oh, I just want to do what I want to do, I just want to live life the way I want to live, I just want to do this because I want to do this. They're growing, okay, they are going to grow, and you know, the tower is important to collapse because that then means we can rebuild in a stronger way. Clearly the foundation here has not been strong within themselves, which means that they struggled a lot in their childhood. But they will get there, see? Seven of Pentacles, they're growing. This is a really good sign. They they have potential for growth here, which is very good. True love, let's clarify this card. Yeah, see, they rejected you, okay? Basically out of fear and pain of their past, feeling very detached at times, not wanting to connect to their emotions. But look, Knight of Swords are going to come rushing in again. And finally, let's clarify Soulmate. Ooh, three cups. Some of you may have been dealing with a third party. That's not for everyone though, okay? Don't get scared, don't get scared. Whenever I say third party, <laughs> people get scared. Um, that's not for everyone though, because that, the Three of Cups also shows celebration. So if you have been dealing with a third party, it shows that there is a second chance here um, where they can put that aside. But I also see here a card, the, both of these are about celebration, which shows marriage, commitment, engagement, living together, being together, um, enjoying time together, you know, beautiful friendships with one another. Um, because this is a celebration card as well. And so is the sun, you know, it's about happiness, joy, opportunity, momentum, fun, excitement and a real sense of opening between the two of you where there's a real sense of understanding love clarity depth you know in that sense too as i take um, a sip of my wonderful warm drink <laughs> okay so that's pretty much what we've got there to be honest yeah they they have up uh well they, they have their own options too, but I think the main thing here is that you're going to get a second chance because they will want a second chance with you, and as they grow to become stronger within themselves, they're able to actually hold this connection. They're able to understand the connection. They're able to understand what it means, and I do believe that this person is your soulmate. I do believe that in time they will want to work on things, but that doesn't mean that you should actively sit there and wait for it to happen. Okay, so you will get the opportunity. Don't worry. I feel like a lot of you are worrying right now, which by the way is totally normal, but don't panic. Your affirmation here is, I will love myself first and they will follow. There you go. I will love myself first and they will follow because that's literally what I see happening here. And I think you should affirm yourself as well and really just love yourself as much as you can. Put yourself first. I know it's really hard to do, um, but... You got this. You got this. Okay, so this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website, and I'll see you all very soon. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.